what the fuck? How is this a game jam game? This is wonderful! Hey everybody, I'm Psychroclasm, and this is Paranormal Entities. You're Cliff, a college student who's a brand new freelance cameraman for the show Paranormal Entities, the number two rated ghost investigation show on the Hunting and Outdoors cable network. You've been hired to inspect the St. Augustine Asylum for the mentally ill. You'll go into this facility, follow the producer's instructions, through radio earpiece, keep your camera on, and try to make contact with spirits inside. If nothing happens, you get $500. If you manage to get some amazing footage of real paranormal activity on your camera, the end. All right, Clint, uh, Cliff, 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 welcome. All right, hey, Resident I'm Evil douchebag. The mentally ill. My producer Tom said good things about you in your backpack. I thought you were the producer. Light, a voice recorder and EMF and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready okay. to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. I did it! <laughs> I am already in. But yeah, that, that's, some, that's some very Resident Evil 7 demo shit. What is this? Oh, okay, it's an anatomical model doing jazz hands. Very sassy. Oh, I don't like that. Things are going to happen above me, aren't they? Nice, the door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So, here's the story. Who's making it sticky? It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital. Oh, were you stacking them on top of one another? Off and hope they disappeared. That's like seven times the capacity. Am I looking for a key or a battery for my camera? Because it's already at three dots. Okay, no. No. Fun. Uh. Oh, I clicked out of the window accidentally. <laughs> I thought, oh god, I've, I've broken. This is where the hundred hallways patients would convene, and we heard that the patients pre-1920 actually received decent care. Then the war hit, the depression hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. The room you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention, and by the end, 150 patients would pass through this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random, slaying themselves with metal wires from their beds. Be careful where you step. Gross. Oh, look, I have a body. <laughs> well, I spoke too soon. I have clothing. <laughs> you know what? This is nice. Honestly, I know it's not what they're going for. What? Do you want me to stand here? All right, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder, and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay, spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Okay, play that back. Know that you're here. Uh, nothing. All right, let's try it again. Okay, but I really love like this concept. Like it's a guided tour of a haunted house almost. But I love like it doesn't really suit the concept necessarily. But I love the narration. No, no, I actually think the concept might work for it. Like that me being a recording. Uh. Guy? Videographer? Alright, alright, let's try this. Ghosts of St. Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission to come to life. Just give us a sign that you are here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. Alright, check that. I give you permission to touch my cameraman. All right, let's try one more spot. But it's like a it's like a guided haunted house tour. 
ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Show up or piss off. Cool. Okay, play that back. Oh, did you hear that? Did you... Play that back. Play that back. <laughs> pricks, show up or piss off. Do not like that. Oh, all right, all right. We, looks like we got an investigation. All right, I want you to go down the morgue hallway, and we're going to continue our investigation in the other gathering area. Okay, that was patient rooms. That's got a bigger directory. It looks like they actually put effort into this, though. This is also a game jam game, but like. Morgue. But that's like, that's a lot of detail. I don't know what the time okay, frame on this was. areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract, the e-social area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who are deemed a danger to society would convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk into the center and we will begin. Is that this room? This one's not labeled. Okay, that's a no. Hang on, I'm trying. Sorry, I'm trying to lock this. I'm trying to get into a position where I can basically lock this in here because I keep clicking out of the window. Oh, fun. This is the center, right? Or am I supposed to look for the at the directory for the east meeting room? It did say east meeting room, right? Okay. So I walked into the center of this room and nothing happened. So did I do good? Okay, maybe I, I'll just try all the doors. This is the entrance to the patient cells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, oh, okay. the sociopaths, the worst of the worst, including Clive the Peeper Johnson. You'd think he would be a pervert with a nickname the Peeper, but the truth is far worse. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a memer. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them to gouge their own eyes out with metal wires and even their own fingernails. He came here to the legal loopholes and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, he jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured and the ones who did wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. This door's locked too. Let's just start the ceremony. Imagine being that charismatic. You're just like, eh, if you could, please, for me. I love you, but I'm gonna need you to gouge your eyes out. Spirits inside this asylum, we know that you're here. I got to work quick. Your restraints. Come forward and live again. Nah. This person is nope. no longer shielded from the realm of the dead. You may be seen interact and manipulate him in any way is that your you butt okay can. hey producer guy fuck you how do i turn my flashlight back on okay not a fan not a fan not a fan don't just stand there go go check it out fuck you On the paper. I just gotta turn left whenever I can. Clap the paper. Clap the paper. Okay. Door locks. And then, and then, okay. I did it. Did I do good? I feel like I didn't do good. Ah, what the fuck? How was this a game jam game? This is wonderful! 
Oh no, there's more. I feel like I was supposed to be looking this way. I will, I will endeavor to look this way in the future. Clive the peeper. Oh, there's, there's some stuff in there. There's a window. What is going on with your butt? Can I help you? Do you need like some itching salve or something? I love this. Get the hell out of there. Just, just go to the front door and get out. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Oh, wow. I love this so much. I've played like real. I've played like games that have taken months, years to work on, and this is good. What right, the get shit? Out of the hallway and then take a take your second right. I can't run. I'm just I'm stuck walking out of here. But what the fuck? Oh, damn it, damn it. Oh, okay. There's a there's a staircase. Take the staircase up to the second floor. And you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way. So, so go up the staircase. What staircase? But seriously, why is this better than like actual well-funded paid horror games? What the actual fuck? This is the most genuinely impressive thing I've seen in a very long time. Okay, no fire escape. Let's go. Let's go back. Crap. Oh, okay, we need it. Let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. Hold on, hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. Yeah, no shit. This place doesn't even have a basement. What the? F what? What is going on? All right, all right. Just. I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. <laughs> Judas Cradle, Brazen Bull, The Boat. Uh, all of those are torture methods or execution methods. Uh, depending on whether the person survived, I guess. The Brazen Bull is actually an interesting thing. Like, we see you. God, look at the detail! Look at this! Surgery. Oh, we're back. To, we're back to normal stuff. Okay. Uh, one of these candles isn't lit. Okay. I know it sounds like he's mooing, but uh, that's not what the brazen bull is. What the actual fuck? How is this so good? Like, if you would lock the mouse to the window, oh boy, we would be in business. Like, because that is the only thing breaking my immersion. I'm sure they'll tell me when they want me to do something. Like, because they've been doing impossible geometry and making me turn around whenever I get to a certain place, so now there'll be a new hallway back there? Yeah, okay. Really? Okay. You, you are just hitting all the right spots for me, guys. This is fantabulous. I am locked in.
Okay, is it time to look up? Okay. I wonder. Oh, yeah, there it is. No eyes don't see, no eyes don't see. Okay, I wasn't... I don't... I wasn't far enough down the hallway to trigger the thing. Like, it won't let me, um, like, it won't let me back up beyond a certain point here. But if I face this way, it goes, it, like, it lets me go. Okay. Okay. So what's next? Nothing but praise for this. What the actual shit? Ha! <laughs> Eyeball. Alright, confession time. Uh, it's about the eyes. I kind of hid this from you. There's an urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about the peeper Clive Johnson. You see, the, there was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore that Clive was more than just a mere man. And uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day rampant hallucinations that progressively got worse, but at night, he never saw the peeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive. But whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork and he blinded himself. And while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free. He was safe. And a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesight, too. This pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. So, try to get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. Cool, do I get a shut my eyes button? Fun! Did you say come here? Hello? Do you have a new flashlight? Okay. I'll go the other way then. Okay! I trust you, Mr. Mr. Peeper, you're real tall! I can't run. I can only walk at a moderate pace. I'm going to die. Mr. Peeper! Mr. Peeper! Please don't slash me! Mr. Peeper, I like my eyes! Mr. Mr. Peeper, I like my eyes. Take my camera. It's a it's a kind of eye. It's a digital eye. It's fancy. It's expensive. You probably didn't have those. Fun. Oh look, a box with which to gouge out my eyeballs. You're gonna have to cut him out. Uh, oh! Oh boy! No! No, I like my eyes. I feel like the game's over either way. Oh! Holy crap! I can't believe it. 
that was the most disturbing, terrifying, and greatest paranormal footage that has ever been taken in the history of television. Oh my god, Tom, we're going to win an Emmy. We might be on talk shows, paranormal entities, movies, spin-offs, freaking coffee mugs, and kid shows. Holy crap. Oh my god. Kid shows. Oh, yeah. Him? Him? Ah. I'm not going in there. Are you going to go in there? I'm not going in there. Hell no, 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 no. I mean, we don't even know where he is in that hospital. The camera's black. He's not responding. I don't see anything. Do you? No. No, no. We're getting out of here. And uh, anyways, another crazy thing about this. He needs to collect his money, too. And I don't think he's going to be coming here anytime soon. So so we, we basically got all this footage for free, dude. Let's just start the man up. Let's get the hell on out of here. We've been in here for, I don't know, a couple hours, just a little bit too long, I'm a little sore, I need to stretch out, and my very wealthy friend, you, are starting to stink. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did, did you hear that? Did you, did you hear that? Shh, listen, listen. A little closer. That, that was outside the truck. That was outside the truck, right? Listen. I see you now. I loved this. Thank you for playing. Please have a please leave a review on the page. To let me know your thoughts about the game. My name is AI. Is it Al or AI Heck? And I made this game in ten days. Ten days. My friends John and I found at GameDevHQ.com. We believe game development is an amazing skill and great tool to tell stories. If you ever wanted to learn how to build a video game, we'd love to show you how. And I would learn to love. I would learn to. I would love to learn from them because they did good shit. This is good. Have they done more things? Hang on. This uh, there's no. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. It says there are no. It says. There are no other things? Never Apart. Okay, I played Never Apart and I did not like it. But Paranormal Entities, holy fuck. They, I don't know. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to go through again. And find out what happens if I do my eyeball. Alright, here we go. Get you, or you're, you're gonna have to cut him out. Holy crap, man. I can't believe you just did that. You freaking gouged your eyes out with a scalpel. Are you alright? <laughs> I know you're not, huh? Holy crap. All right, all right, we're, we're, we're getting a picture from your camera. Bad news is it's pitch black. There, there's no light. Your room, there's nothing I could see. The flashlight went out, and, and we, we don't even know where you are. I'm not going in there. I, I, do you, are you going in there? I'm not going in there. I'm what a bitch! Look, uh, I'm, if you can't feel anything, I'm sorry, but we're not coming. I'm sorry, man. I have to go. I'm sorry. That would have been a really good opportunity. Obviously, they wouldn't do it for this situation, but it would have been a really cool opportunity to try... Um... Shit, what am I trying to say? Try to navigate my way out completely blind. That would have been a really interesting system to try out. Okay. I mean, on the second playthrough, like, it still got some issues, obviously. But, like, in terms of... Sorry, I should probably be closer to the mic. In terms of story writing and pacing and setting off triggers this is beautiful 
Like, they, they absolutely hit a lot of things that I look for in games. I, like, I know it's a 20 minute game, but I genuinely had more fun with that than I do with a lot of things I play on this channel. That was wonderful. And until the next video, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you around.